And as we wait for the start of that event a little later on today, our Megan Selensky this morning has the story uh, of a Pennsylvania hunter who's pursuing his passion uh, for the outdoors despite his disability. Roy's trainer is paralyzed from the chest down, but he doesn't let it stop him from doing what he loves. I just love being outdoors and here in Pennsylvania, as you know, we have great fall foliage and I wouldn't trade that for anything. At the age of 31, he became a quadriplegic, but he still pursues his passion for hunting thanks to adaptive equipment and the people by his side. Don't be afraid to ask people. Um, I know that it can be um, trying sometimes or you may think you're being a burden, but people are more than willing to help. Prior to his injury, trainer and his friend Matt used to spend every free minute archery hunting. But after extensive rehab, they were both able to once again share in that love of the outdoors. It's kind of a full circle moment that Matt and I used to hunt several different states together. And I was able to tag a five point uh, buck with my crossbow. And it was just being back in the woods with Matt, doing the things that we love together. And it wasn't about the wheelchair. It wasn't about the adaptive equipment. It was hunting with my buddy. Trainer's story about his disability and getting back here outside and outdoors is meant to be an inspiration to people to pursue their passions. But don't be afraid to, to fail. I mean, I'm not successful every time I go out, but I wasn't successful every time I went out before my injury. So give yourself permission to fail. Megan Selensky, Erie News Now.